Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to try the worst rated restaurant in Chiang Mai. And as no surprise to me, it's not even a restaurant that serves Thai food. It's a restaurant that serves Western food. Now, come on, people. You don't come to Thailand for good Western food. Anyway, the place is called Kate Pizzeria. So we've got people coming to Thailand and they're ordering pizza and complaining because it doesn't meet their expectations, which is about as absurd as going, let's say, to Rome, Italy and complaining that their Thai food isn't that great. Anyway, we're going to check this place out. First, I want to give you some of the comments that have been left on the reviews for this restaurant in Chiang Mai. So the first comment we're going to go over says the pizza tastes like feces and that's one of the most recent reviews. Now come on, how do you know first of all what feces tastes like? Another one said that they ordered a margarita pizza however the dough was really bad, soggy. We'll find out, that's what we're going to order. Another comment said that the 7-Eleven pizza is 10 times better. Well, first of all, I didn't know there was pizza at 7-Eleven. Apparently, I've never looked for it. Another one said that the pizza is not very good and it's very expensive. So we'll take a look at the price they're charging for pizza that supposedly tastes like feces. Other comments go on to say how the pizza is undercooked, soggy, it looks terrible. And there's quite a few complaints that the staff is very bad, the service was horrible, they didn't get their order in for like 30 minutes, things like that. So we're going to take a look at this place and see if it is at all as bad as everyone claims that it is. So this restaurant is in the heart of Chiang Mai. It's in what expats here call Old City, also known as downtown Chiang Mai. And the restaurant is right smack in the middle, which we're going to head to right now. So the restaurant is across the road. It's hard to see the name Cape Pizzeria, but it is on the door over there. It's part of another restaurant called The Terrace. So you have The Terrace and Cape Pizzeria all in one place. Okay, I've already had the food. Let me tell you about my experience. So I was able to get a seat quickly, I would say instantaneously, and the place had a lot of customers in it, so business is good, so that's always good for them. So I ordered the margarita pizza, and it looked good on the picture. The price wasn't too bad. It's around seven US dollars at this time. So that's about normal for a pizza in Thailand, you're going to spend more for pizza. It's just the way it is. If you're comparing the price of Thai food to the price of something like Western food, like pizza, there's no comparison. It's always going to be more here in Thailand for Western food. That's just the way it goes. So the pizza itself was really good. I got the pizza. It was more pizza than I could actually eat. And the crust was fine. It was firm. You picked it up. It didn't just droop over like it was soggy or undercooked. So there's no issue whatsoever. The flavor was good. I enjoyed it. I would have loved to have eaten the whole thing, but it filled me up. So that's another plus. I can't think of why these people would leave such bad reviews for this place, especially tastes like feces. It was good and the waiting staff was excellent. They brought me my drink when I ordered that. It was within they took my order within a minute of me sitting down and they brought me my drink within like two minutes. And then to get my pizza, you know, they got to cook it. So it took about 15 minutes for it. 
no problem there. Got my bill, no problem there. It was a pleasant experience and I would actually come back here again for a pizza. So yeah, I think they've been a little bit rough. You don't go, like I said before, to a place like Thailand and then leave bad reviews for a place that's you're ordering American food. It's like trying to order American Western food. It's like trying to order chicken nuggets here in Thailand and complaining about it. So would I recommend this place? Absolutely. More than likely, you're gonna find this place on your own because if you're walking around anywhere in downtown Chiang Mai, you're gonna pass this place. It's just gonna happen. It's one of the first places my wife and I ate. I didn't realize that till after I sat down. We ate there three years ago during COVID time. Looks totally different now. But yeah, in one of our second or third videos that we ever did, I believe we're eating at that restaurant. It wasn't Kate's Pizzeria, meaning we didn't order the pizza, but we did eat there before. I didn't realize that. So do keep that in mind if you're here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, that if you order Western food, you're really taking a chance on it being good. This one was actually really good. But that is why whenever I review restaurants here on the channel, I don't pick Thai restaurants necessarily. Why? Because most Thai restaurants are good. You can get good Thai food everywhere. What you can't get everywhere is good Western food. And you may be like, why would I want Western food when I'm in Thailand? You get here in Thailand, you want Thai food, you eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Days go by, maybe a week or two, and then you start longing for something else besides Thai food. And that's harder to find here in Thailand is good Western food. So just keep that in mind. By the way, if you are traveling here to Thailand or anywhere else, always make sure you have travel insurance. We have a link down in the description to travel insurance, and you can go down there and see what it would cost for your next vacation. All right, so I have some shout outs for a bunch of people who gave to the channel, and we really do appreciate it. And those people are as followed. So on Buy Me A Coffee, we had Stephen, Debbie, W, Marlene C, Mary, Ger Gerald B, and on Super Thanks, we had Kevin A, Rob L A, Michael J, Brian H, and this one's an abbreviation, CH plus ST. So thank you very much for contributing to the channel. We really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And until next time, kap kun kap.